G'day guys and welcome back. So here we've got our armor stands that we did in our last episode. And uh, I'm just about to go and do a wee bit of tidying up around this dock area. As you can see we've got a few of these uh, iron bars missing off the pier here. There's one. But we're just doing this. We're going to do a few more around here. And to that, I think what I want to do is go and get my beacon and move it over here so we can start clearing out some ground. Uh, this one here, probably not, just because it's not so close to the water. Okay, so there's a lot of projects and stuff around here to do. There's just so much to do in this world. Sometimes I just don't know where to start. And me being me, I do get distracted by little things very easily. This fish is distracting me right now that it's above the water. Alright, so the, the plan for today. I want to put some sort of sewer system in this world here. And I think I'm going to have the opening right here. I'm going to end up going underneath this hill and hopefully we won't dig into the, um, the mob farm over there okay so back over here at the quarry time to take this beacon down Ooh, that's why i had that covered uh do we want to go down here? Do we want to venture down here? Um, we'll be right. We'll be right. Let's just go down here. Ooh, broke my leg. Jump over there. Don't want to. Oh, he's going to come up here, isn't he? Gets into that water, he will. Uh, that move. Come here. Thank you. I'm glad we didn't jump over there then. Some time later. Okay, I'm gonna set this beacon up and I think what I'll do is I'll just set it up down here. I'll get the hole started and then I'll, I'll probably do a lot of the mining and stuff off of camera. That, that's, that's gonna be too small. You know what, that's not too bad. Okay guys, progress has been slow, but steady, and this is what I've come up with. I've got the opening, bamboo isn't going to stay as yet, but I, I think I might put some bamboo around here, but that's mainly for sticks. Uh, yeah, this is what I've come up with so far, so we've got a little bit of water trickling out, we've got uh, a cage on the front of it, and it's like a gate been opened up and that's how we get access in there okay so we've got the stairs filled with water of course that's just naturally flowing out uh, but this is the sort of theme or look that I'm going to go for throughout this sewer sort of area I'll probably just follow this sort of theme right through here I can't go any further in this direction and that's because the mob farms are right there okay so yeah can't go any further that way but i have gone this way and i've also gone this way now i'm not sure about lighting thinking of a way to implement some sort of light i don't want to make it obvious light but i don't want to make it not light enough so the mobs spawn okay so far done the bottom layer here the the floor piece uh this is what it's going to open out like of course and i'm just putting in the water now this is uh, quite, the, quite the task oh too much so what i've tried to do is i've tried to keep it as dark as possible in there and the only thing that i could do was use the uh, glow lichen now it's not going to get much 
darker than that. That's at light level one in places. Um, but, so yeah, at this stage I'm super happy with this. I added in this area here too. So this is another little pipe. This is the uh, the mob mob farm drop shoots like right there, right behind that wall there. Now, I've just sort of just missed it. Got this in here with water. These are all um, stair blocks and half slabs, so that water is, is, is just going to fall off once these three blocks are removed. But down here, I don't know if you can see it, but I actually went down so far and just ended up putting black wall in there, so we can't actually see it from when we're walking in. And you can almost, you can't really see it from here either, so it's, it looks apart, and a few, few cracked uh, stones in there. I was going to use frog lights, but instead, come down to the mob farm here, because I do have the frog light farm set up. Um, I've, I've made this dirty little contraption here. Okay, and it is basically... If I just mine this out, I can actually show you just what it is. Okay, so we've got a observer facing into a block, carrying the block which powers the dispenser. And just in front of this one, so once it's pushed, it activates and uh, powers away. Grab my shears and just basically once I walk on this, it's gonna activate this. I'm gonna do a sit up here and just just hold the button down. Right on the edge there, so it's getting both of them. And that's that's it. Stops once I walk off. Everything's in here. But yeah, do a little farm there. That's the trick. Just what I needed. Wow, guys. So, this thing is starting to look totally awesome. Let me just fly up in the air and show you what I've been working on. Can you see it? Right by the rocket. The big drain. Yes, that's a big big ground drain and I was going to put the other the wee drain opening here uh, I still might but I thought you know what this will be cool we've got the grate here we've got an open gate just like the other one but look down in here guys doesn't that look cool I put the walls in the corners just to give it a little bit more roundness like looks awesome and actually I don't even need the uh, the big square we can fly right through those little squares but yeah look at that so it comes down here I've got the trial of water I haven't finished this part here yet but look at that this is really starting to take shape I'm super happy with it put all this water in here and tell you what Laying down these uh, these steer bricks, it really does get on your nerves sometimes when they just don't want to do what you want them to do. Uh, what a grind it's been, and I keep getting distracted by witches. They fall down in here and they don't die. They keep drinking their potion. Got their stupid giggle. But yeah, so far so good, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm super happy with the way it's looking. Well, I got distracted again and needed some shulkers. So I ended up doing a bit of end raiding. Okay, let's get back to the sewer.
Okay, so we've got this. This is like a an opening grate sort of drain thing, which we've got to finish extra stuff around it, of course. But, uh, you know, this is a, a long play series, so yeah, it's got the gate that's open. If we just fall in here, this is one entry point that we can uh, come in. And it looks fantastic so far. So the sewer will continue on, but this is what we've got to so far got completed. Um, I've just done all the lighting in here. That's all quite safe. This is the my favorite part of the uh, build so far. It's this pipe with the water flowing out. And of course we've got the other original entry point where we started so up here really enjoying this build so far but up here got to a point I want to keep this sort of episode sort of short so down in here I plan on putting in the uh, a frog sanctuary now this will be where a collection of the frogs will live so we'll clear some of this out and we'll put in some clay and, and make it sort of look lush-ish and then over this side there'll be another another pipe coming in and I think we might even put uh, a door on it and a door on here too so this will be another pipeway um, may even have a bit of water trickling down this way into this area but yeah, this one here is not finished yet. This is a job for another day. This will go all the way to the mud farm. Which needed a lot of fixing. But we'll get into that later. And yeah. Super happy with this thing here. It just it looks quite natural sort of. So yeah, pretty happy with it. Anyway guys, this is going to be it for this episode, so we'll see you in the next one, bye!